Okay, here's the setup for the activity 1.1.3 in mechanical system efficiency. You'll notice that I have my power supply here set to uh, 4.5 volts and with our current all the way up. I've got uh, my breadboard, which we're going to hook all the wiring up to. I've got my VEX switch that I'm going to use to power this or to uh, control the circuit. I do have the, the old VEX 393 motor instead of the yellow gearbox motor. Um, that's fine. You can use this or you can switch to the yellow gearbox motor and it's uh, just as fine. Um, we got a little gear ratio here with uh, the rope wrapping around the uh, axle. And then I have a, uh, this one is a 1,000 gram weight, a uh, little hook weight. And then I have another one. Our weight number one is going to be the, the 500 and the weight number two is going to be the 1,000. Okay, so let's get this thing wired up. You'll notice I have the, um, the red hooked to the, the positive and it's going to go to our power rail here in the red. Uh, the black wire is going into the negative uh, terminal here, so all of this uh, column will be negative, and we're going to go ahead and hook this up. So to start, I'm going to take my little uh, motor, and I'm going to plug this into uh, any of the rows, just as long as it's across the rows. I don't want to put it in sideways like this. Uh, I want to put it so that the prongs are uh, going, uh, you know, one above the other. Okay, then we need to, um, I'm going to hook this little uh, red wire here into the same row as the the top of the motor so let me just plug this in to power so like that okay and then we're going to take um, the motor and again i'm going to plug it into this the, the top prong is in the same row as the red and then the bottom prong is going to be uh, in the same as the uh, switch wire so on the switch you'll see i've got three prongs but i'm going to use the black wire and the white wire the red wire in the middle is a signal wire so we're not going to be using that. So uh, again, we're going to put one of the switch wires. It doesn't matter if it's the black or the white. I can go this way or this way, but we're going to line that up so that the top one, the top prong is in the same row as the, in this case would be the red wire for the, uh, the motor. Okay. So I'll plug that in just like so. All right. And then from there, we're going to hook this uh, black wire into the bottom wire, which would be the same as the white wire, uh, the same prong as the white wire on the switch. And we're going to run that over to ground, which is right here. Okay, when we do that, we should have a simple little series circuit. And you can see it is running the winch up. So if I wanted to, uh, in case it's running the winch the wrong direction, you can just simply unplug the, the motor, flip directions. So just flip it around, will cause the electrons to flow through the motor in the opposite direction. And you'll see now it is going down. All right, to uh, get us started with a few measurements here, um, we have a piece of tape on the wire. Uh, it goes from uh, this, the bottom of this piece of tape all the way down uh, the rope. You'll see another piece of tape at the top of this one. That is 30 centimeters uh, in between. So we're gonna lift this weight. We'll, uh, we'll adjust this so that this is at the edge of the table, and then we'll, um, we'll lift it up until the other tape is at the edge of the table as well, and we'll know that we have lifted 30 centimeters. For the amperage, we're going to need to know our voltage and our amperage here. So uh, this is the 500 gram weight that I've put on the end of the, the line there. And when we operate the winch, you'll see that it uh, uh, looks like we're at about 1.15 amps. So that is our current to lift the, uh, the, the 500 gram weight. Okay, so when we switch it over to the heavier weight, uh, now I have the 1,000 pound or the 1,000 gram weight there. Um, we're going to go ahead and run this again, and it looks like we're at about uh, 0.18 amps for to lift that one. For the final test, we're going to um, basically uh, reinstall the weight number one, which is our 500 gram weight, and I'm simply going to uh, run the winch, and we're going to time the amount of time it takes for uh, this to spool up until the top of this rope gets to the edge of the table right there. Okay, where the current piece of tape is. So we're simply gonna run that, that test and we're gonna time it so to see how long it takes to get up. We're gonna unspool it. We're gonna put the other weight right back on, the 1,000, and we're gonna do the exact same thing again. So we're gonna see how long it takes to lift the 30 centimeters for both of the weights while recording the time. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got as far as the measurements. So the distance that we're gonna lift is 30 centimeters, which we need to convert to meters, so 0.3 meters. And we've got uh, the weight one, 500 grams, which converts to 4.9 newtons. Uh, weight two, 1,000 grams, 9.81 newtons. Voltage stayed the same. Uh, current was uh, 0.15 amps, amps for the, the first weight, and the second weight, 0.18 amps. And the time that it took to lift the 30 centimeters for the 500 gram weight was 31.5 seconds. Time for the 1,000 gram, 32. 
0.02 seconds. So if we are uh, wanting to work this out, you can see that uh, we use our uh, formula for mechanical power, which is uh, the force times the distance divided by the time. So we get 0 0.047 watts. For our electrical power, it's our current times our voltage. So for the 500 gram weight, it was 0.15 amps times the 4.5 volts, gives us uh, 0.675 watts. And so uh, if we were to look at the efficiency of that, it's 0.047 divided by 0.675. So we get uh, basically 6.96% efficient uh, for that particular um, weight. And if we uh, do the same process here with the 1,000 gram weight, uh, we just plug those numbers in. So again, we have our mechanical power formula, force times distance divided by time, gives us 0.09 watts. And then we have electrical power, uh, again, current times voltage gives us 0.81 watts. And then we have our efficiency, so 0 0.09 divided by 0 0.81 gives us about 11% efficient uh, for that particular weight. So you can see in this example, uh, the lighter weight, we had a lower efficiency. The higher weight, we had a higher efficiency, which basically just means that um, the motor is, is uh, too big for this example here. So in other words, we have uh, way more motor than we need, way more power than we need in this particular motor, uh, which is why when we lift a lighter weight, it's such a low efficiency. We're just... It's like putting a V8 in a moped, you know, or something like that. So just too much power, um, you know, so again, that's why as we add weight, we start to become a little bit more efficient. Um, but if we continue to add weight, eventually we'll peak out. And, uh, and then again, we'll have that kind of like that maximum efficiency. And then we'll start to, um, to wane off again. We'll start to overwork the motor. So we'll learn more about that in the uh, maximizing motor power uh, lesson. But otherwise, here is our calculations.